we touched on this earlier. Tomorrow, runners will mark the one-year anniversary of the Dallas ambush with a 5K fundraiser to support fallen and injured officers and their families. We want to revisit because this race is going to begin at Trinity Groves in Dallas, as mentioned. That's where Gabriel Rojas is live for us tonight with what one runner plans to do as a special tribute. Gabriel? Well, normally runners try not to weigh themselves down, but when that race kicks off here tomorrow morning, one man will be going a little bit slower than usual to carry a heavy load honoring officers both fallen and living. By night, Joshua Taylor works as a chef in Carrollton, but for the last several weeks, he's spent his days visiting area police stations, adding names to his back the blue flag. It started out just as a, you know, police support flag, and uh, I thought about getting, um, you know, the fallen names on there and to have them on there and just run with that. And the more I thought about it, I was like, well, you know, the current officers need our support as well. Taylor plans to carry the flag when he runs in the 5K Run for the Blue to raise money for the families of slain and injured police officers. The idea has the support of officers across the Metroplex, including Fort Worth officer Matt Pierce, who survived an attack more than a year ago. So we sat and talked with each other for a little bit, and he signed my flag. and. And I mean, it's just amazing to meet a real life hero in my eyes. Taylor says he's always thought highly of police officers, but it was the July ambush that prompted him to take his daughter to the growing memorial at the Dallas Police Department and carry his flag as a sign of support. I wanted my daughter to know this is why we should support police, because they're willing to die for us. Now when he carries that same flag in the run for the blue, it will show signatures of living officers in the stripes and the names of the fallen written in the stars. I feel like they're still there with us and in the stars, yeah. I mean, they're just a shining light for us all. And that race begins here at 8 a.m. And if a 5K is a little too much for you, there's also a one-mile version that is free to anyone to run or walk as much or as little as you want to show your support. We're live in Dallas. Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News. Gabriel, thank you for that. And